Hi, teachers. Are you looking for a fun way to engage your whole class, include every student, and let everyone participate and answer at the same time? I have been using whiteboard.fi and it has been a game changer. I love how I can see my students working in real time on their individual whiteboards. I'm going to show you step by step how you use this tool. Before I get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to it so you get notified of any new teacher tech tutorials. Okay, so let's jump right in. First, you're going to go to whiteboard.fi. And once you get there, you don't really need to start an account or start one for your students. The easiest way is to click on new class. And here you can type your name or the section name, subject, whatever you want. And it'll give you some option settings. I don't click either one of those. Those are if you want a waiting room or if you want your students to manually save their work. I usually don't click on them and then click on create new class. Then you're going to see this page where it gives you different options of how you can share the board with your class. You can either copy that link and share it to students in the chat room of Zoom, or you can copy the QR code and have the students log in that way. Or if the students go to whiteboard.fi, they can also log in the room code. Here I'm going to show you the student view and the teacher view at the same time. And on my right, I have the student view where you can they can log in different ways. They can use the QR code or they can click on join a class and it's going to ask them for the room code. And here they would type that code that you received um, at the top of the screen. And once they type it in, it's going to just ask them for their name. That way you can see um, whose board is who or if you give them this link in the chat box and they copy paste it on Google, it'll also take them to the whiteboard. The student would type their student's name and when they log in, they'll be able to see their whiteboard um, or they can see the teacher's whiteboard on top and it'll tell you their class name and they have all of their tools right here and that's something that I would review at the beginning when I let them explore so that they know what options they have and how to erase, how to access everything and so on. Now here is the teacher view and as students start logging in, you'll be able to see their names down below and the student whiteboards. And when you toggle my whiteboard, this is your teacher whiteboard on top and the student's whiteboard in the bottom. And you can easily go back and forth that way um, you can view their their boards easier or however you want however you want to share. There are many tools you can choose from. You can use a pencil to draw. Um, you can type. You can draw shapes. I really like the grid because this is great for teaching perimeter and area. Um, you can erase. And another one is you can upload an image that you have in your desktop. So for example, here, if I want to upload this problem, I would simply drag it, stretch it out, place it however I want. And if I want all my students to be able to work on that, I click on push. And here it'll give you the option of if you want to push it to all students and you'll see it appear on all of their screens. Um, slowly in the bottom. You also have the choice of going to an individual student's board and click on it and then click on actions and here you can erase their whiteboard if you feel like they need to start over. Um, you can kick the student out or if they for some reason sometimes if they don't have their whiteboard window open when you push it out they might not receive it so you'll have to do it again. Um, so then you would click here so that it pushes out the assignment to that student. I really love this whiteboard tool. I like that you can give all your students the opportunity to participate. You can track their progress and give them instant feedback. Setting it up is fast. You don't need to go through the hassle of registering or installing anything. Most important, you have full control of all their whiteboards.
Thanks again for watching another Teacher Tech tutorial. My name is Emma Balansai and I love helping teachers find new ways to engage their kids. If you want more tips, don't forget to click on subscribe and let me know if you have any questions.